Thank you all for uh, subscribing to this sensory data analysis webinar. So this is part one. We'll be seeing how to evaluate differences between products. Um, the webinar will be illustrated with the Excel SAT software. So some of you have already used the software. Otherwise, it will be a good opportunity to discover it today. So there will be another webinar, so part two on Thursday, which is also about sensory data analysis. We'll be talking about another topic, how to link effective data to sensory attributes. So the sensory data analysis methods are very, there, it's there, there's a very rich ecosystem around this. So unfortunately, we won't be able to, uh, to cover everything available in this world and especially in Excel stats. So if you want to go further, if you'd like to go further, don't hesitate to uh, contact us and to request maybe some further training, which will be uh, more tailored to your specific needs or to do some more research on your side. So my name is Jean-Paul Malouf. I'm a statistical consultant at uh, Excel Stat. You should know there that uh, there are handouts and data you can uh, download for this webinar. So the presentation handouts are available somewhere on the webinar platform that there must be a download button somewhere. You may submit all the questions you have on the chatting pop-up window. I'll be answering as many questions as I can at the end of the webinar during the last five minutes, maybe during a Q&A session. There will be a recording available of this webinar. It will be available by the end of this month. So you will receive a link to the recording. So if you have any colleagues who were interested by the webinar and weren't able to attend today, you will be able to share the recording with them without any problem, okay? So sensory data analysis part one, here's the outline of this webinar. I'll first start with a few words about Excel stat. I'll say who we are, then we'll be stating a few definitions and I will be talking then about sensory experiments and some popular sensory experiments. Uh, we'll be talking about different experiments, different experiments that allow to, uh, to evaluate the differences globally among products without necessarily getting into the details of the sensory characterization of each and every product. So this webinar will be really focused on this kind of experiments today. So among these experiments, we'll be investigating a few discrimination tests, such as the triangle test and 2AFC. We'll be also talking about projective mapping and mapping, and which we'll be exploring through the status data analysis method. And at last, we'll be talking about sensory product characterization, which is used to describe specifically attribute per attribute, a series of products. So who are we? Excel Stat is a statistical software that works as an add-on to Microsoft Excel, PC, and Mac. It's also available for Excel 365 and Google Sheets, so you can also use it on the cloud. So it's being developed on the cloud today. Excel Stat is developed by the Adinsoft company. It has more than 220 statistical features, more than 150K users worldwide, more than 25 employees at your service, 300K monthly visits on the website. The software is, is available in seven languages and we have offices in three different time zones. So America, Europe, and Japan. And there are 10K monthly downloads of the software. So Excel Stat is developed by the Adinsoft company, which is hosted inside the data factory. The data factory is a private lab dedicated to data science, which is located in Bordeaux in France. It also hosts four other expert companies uh, dedicated to the data science. Once again, there are more than 45 people working at the data factory and it organizes more than 25 workshops, events and trainings around data every year. So it's very active. Excel Stat is available in eight different solutions to meet your specific needs. So first, there are three generalist solutions, basic, basic plus, and premium. So basic has the most basic statistical uh, features such as ANOVA, PCA, or uh, regression, or uh, basic tests. Basic plus adds 
a machine learning to all the basic features. And premium holds the complete 220 Excel set features. So this is the most complete solution developed by Excelstat. Between Basic Plus and Premium, you will find many intermediate solutions such as sensory, life sciences, marketing, forecasting, and quality. These solutions are, are field specific. So today we'll be focusing on the sensory solutions. You should know that each feature in Excelstat has a dedicated tutorial available online with an associated downloadable data set. So in each tutorial, you will have an overview on how the method works and how to configure it in Excel stat and how to interpret the results. So there are many learning resources around features on the Excel stat website. There also is a YouTube channel developed by the Excel stat team. It um, shows different short videos. Each video is dedicated to a specific feature once again, explained briefly and intuitively, and with an illustration using Excel stat. A few months ago, we recorded or we broadcast several webinars on general statistics, like uh, for data description, data exploration and clustering, statistical testing, statistical modeling, and ANOVA and machine learning. The recordings are available online. You simply need to click on this page on your PDF and you'll access the page if you want to view those webinar, webinars again or to discover them. So it's a very good introduction to statistics. So let me just show you how the page looks like. There it is. So you have the different webinars available here with the video and the presentation materials that you can download and manipulate. So here are a few definitions. What is sensory analysis? Sensory analysis is the science that applies the principle of design of experiments and statistics on human senses, human senses, which are smell, taste, sight, touch, and hearing for the purpose of evaluating and optimizing consumer products. Of course, Sensory analysis is uh, widely used in the food industry, for instance, to optimize taste, the taste of food. And it's also used in uh, cosmetics to optimize the smell or the touch of uh, different cosmetics uh, products. But it's also used in many, many other consumer goods. For instance, in the car industry, sensory analysis can be used to optimize the sound of the car door closing to make it feel more secure, for instance or uh, it can be used in a sportswear uh, industry to optimize the softness of a shoe, for instance, for it to feel more comfortable. So notice that in all of these examples, I've mentioned two categories of variables. So the category of uh, a category of variable, which refers more to the senses. So how a food tastes, is it acid, is it salty? How a shoe feels like, is it uh, soft? Or how a car sounds like loud or feels like other kinds of sounds. And on the other hand, we have variables which are more linked to affective feelings, such as feeling more secure or feeling more comfortable or liking more a kind of product. So we will see, especially during the next session, some tools, some sensory analysis tools that allow us to mix these two kinds of variables. So sensory variables with effective variables in the purpose of optimizing the sensory characteristics to maximize liking and effective variables. So here are a few words I will be using a lot during those two sessions. What is a product? A product is an object characterized by sensory or affective properties. What is a panelist or a judge or an assessor? It's a person evaluating products. A panel is a group of panelists, group of judges. And panelists can be either trained experts, for instance, uh, experts who are trained to uh, tasting and grading wines or sensory characteristics of wines, or they can also be consumers recruited on the market who are untrained.